Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Today I bring you guys loot from 1000 Calvarion. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, 1000 and not 10 hours this time. The goal for this one is to make as much money as possible and get as many anti-PKs as possible as well since I finally did purchase the Void Waker, also known as the Karasi. For this one, I was starting at 8 kill count since I did visit this boss before making a video on it, so we'll know that we're finished at 1,008 kill count. You may be wondering why I'm wearing the Elijah Spirit Shield. Well, I'm still borrowing it from my friend after so many months now, so I figured I would try it out here for a little bit, but I quickly realized that it's better to have as much offensive bonus as possible compared to defensive, especially if you're anti-PKing. So a little into the video, I did switch that Elijah up for a Dragon Defender, and then after that, an Avernick Defender. Not even 20 kill into the video and we've already received our first rare this one being the ring of the gods which is at a current price of 8.7 mil although i do think it's a little bit lower than this i think it's around six to seven mil since there's so many more coming into the game now but that drop is one out of 716 and the other rares that we can expect would be a dragon 2h which is one in 358 the dragon pickaxe which is also one in 358 current price of that is 3.3 mil so it's gone down drastically but that's all right still a pretty good price and uh the other two rares is the Skull of Vedion, which is about 2.1 mil, one in 618 for that. And finally, the one that everyone wants, the Void Waker Blade, this one being one in 912 at a current price of 44 million. I believe this is the second PKer that I ran into. The first one I did escape from, which I did very rarely in this video. I mainly tried to fight back as best as I could. And with the, I keep wanting to call it Karasi, but with the Void Waker, I did get a nice little 600k anti-PK. And and I'll be honest, most of this video is going to be me fighting many different people, whether they are a Max Mage or a Mystic Mage or someone in similar setup as me. This really is a true hot spot to find PKers, especially PKers that attack you right away so that you never have to skull. And the bonus of this is I'll always have a Ballista as well as a Void Waker and of course my Vigorous Chain Mace with the upgrade attached to try my very best to kill anyone who attacks me. I've been seeing so many videos on YouTube lately of people using the Void Waker and it's almost 100% effective every single time. I mean, at least that's what it seems like. Uh, there's definitely a lot of close calls in this video that I did include and more that I didn't include. The reality of it is most of this video is just a lot of PvP, a lot of PKing and a lot of anti-PKing, which is no doubt about it my favorite thing to do in the game. And you got to remember, alongside doing this, I'm also making some incredible money every hour while killing Calvarion. And with a beautiful special attack to finish off that kill, I did receive 3.5 mil, our first decent uh, PK of the video, but believe me, ladies and gentlemen, the best is yet to come. I hope you watch the whole thing. It is well worth your time. So shortly after killing that guy, Fire Cube, I did run into a guy named Earth Cube. I'm not sure if they're related at all, but I'm sure they are because it was just a few minutes after the first kill. And this time, I wasn't sure if I wanted to fight inside the cave or outside, but eventually I decided, you know, I was a little bit low on the food there. Let me just go outside the cave and do my best with my Void Waker using both of my special attacks right away as soon as we got out outside and it did result in a 14.4 mil pk i don't know what this guy was doing with two black masks in his inventory but now they look uh, much better and much safer in my bank tab so i will take that we're going to keep every pk and every single calvarion kill in the same bank tab nothing should be out of order there so that'll look nice at the end of the video we're already 200 kills in so you guys can kind of tell you know the amount of pkers that i'm running into on a certain kill basis here definitely a lot and again Again, this wasn't even peak time to be doing something like this. I was doing this, I think, one week after this update came into the game. And the benefit of that is I could also afford a Void Waker at this current point in time. I think it's about 200 mil. And I believe I purchased mine for 183. So had I done this in the first few days, I would have had to spend just an enormous amount of money on that Void Waker. And probably I would have lost hundreds of mil on it. So I certainly don't mind uh, doing this video a little bit later on uh, when prices did settle down a little bit. And hopefully we do receive a Void Waker drop from this uh, boss. It is definitely not out of the question seeing as I'm killing a thousand of them, but so far no luck since the Ring of the Gods. So we're just going to keep uh, pressing on here. And this video was done in about four days time. I think on the first day I killed over 499 of them. And then I logged in the next day uh, to start 500. I think I killed a hundred that day. And then just kind of slowly doing a few hundred kills a day. Um, one thing that I did get hooked on while, you know, I was continuously banking and so forth was last man's 
standing. I figured I was doing so much anti PKing that last man standing would only improve my ability, and I had never done it before, but I've officially done probably about three to four hours of non-stop last man standing in the last few days or last week or so, and it is so much fun. So I definitely attribute a little bit to all the PKs that I've gotten here uh, to my clicking abilities getting a little bit faster and a little bit smoother due to all the practice at last man standing. And that really goes for anyone. If you ever need more practice for PvP, feel free to go there. You get different sets, you get different uh, levels that you can be, a pure, zerker, um, barrows pure, max main, and it's all 100% free to do, and it's a lot of fun. It's always very crowded there. So yeah, big shout out to the uh, people that have been seeing in last man standing and competing against. Definitely a cool thing to do on the side while you're working on anything that involves the wilderness. And here we are, 300 kills into the video. I think I've only gotten about a 1.1 mil PK in the last 100 kills or so. Also had two very close calls of killing the same max major inside of the room here but they continued to teleport out so like i said i did add a few close calls into this video just because why not if i have to have the pain of almost getting a massive pk you guys gotta share a little bit of it with me you know but uh, either way it was going really well i didn't really have too many switches going into this one as it goes for the you know anti pking realistically it was just a amulet of glory switch uh from my original salve amulet which of course i would use on vedion and here we go here is the biggest pk of the video ladies and gentlemen just kidding you know it's so painful to hit a zero after you've smited a 200 million dollar sword but it is what it is. I did chance that guy a few times, and he always got away, and I did see that as a pattern with certain max PKers that would continuously try to kill me, and even after a while, they honestly stopped. A lot of them just kind of offed me, wished me luck, because, you know, they didn't want to go through the struggle of fighting me again. Needless to say, I'm definitely not the best PKer out there, but the, the setup is so good that uh, the beautiful thing about the Void Waker is that even if you're not going to use the special attack, they're always going to want to camp Prey Mage so that, you, you know, you just cannot kill them with it, and this opens up the opportunity to continuously whack them with it and constantly hit 40s and 50s and then if they do pray melee you can go ahead and use the special attack and you're gonna just hit so much higher and if worse comes to worst i always have my ballista so there's just so many different ways that i can kill someone as well as always using vengeance and having that berserker ring imbued on just ready to go so needless to say i was really prepared for anyone and everyone uh whoever was going to be attacking me here's a lovely drop a dragon pickaxe this time not a ring of the gods or anything above it so there's another 3.3 mil maybe 3.4 to the price check love getting drops here this is actually very easy to kill i apologize that i didn't actually include a full length uh clip of me killing this boss but it's really easy i didn't really think it was necessary i know there's a couple guides on youtube already but yeah it's uh very easy to kill compared to the normal vedion it's like half the hp and you always sit above 60s with the vigorous chain mace so yeah i mean it's it's a pretty easy boss to kill and that's why i didn't really film too much of fighting him because once you kill it once you'll get the hang of it and you'll probably perfect it in no time and what you just saw there is me rushing with the void waker which is actually pretty effective i uh, got a nice little 1.1 mil there i hope they didn't lose infernal cape or anything like that but yeah i did do this a little bit during the video my apologies if i rushed you it's nothing personal i you know just on off hours i would be a little bit bored and i would just go ahead and like rush 10 people in a row and go to the myth guild suicide get spec back and then return and do it all over pretty toxic to do that you know but i figure 10 people is not the worst thing in the world if you do that for like 10 hours a day though yeah you probably will anger a lot of people but you know that's okay it's the wilderness after all and there's another nice little pk uh thanks to the dog for assisting me out in that one my special attack wasn't enough but thanks to calvarion's pets i was able to kill him and we got a nice little uh, pk from him nice dragon boots coming in so i will certainly take that uh after that happened i did go back to rushing a few people uh like i said it's probably not the best thing to do for money a lot of these guys didn't really have too much of a risk but you never know especially in high level total level worlds but we are inching our way towards 1000 kill count i really hope you guys are enjoying the video so far if you do let me know by thumbs upping the video or just leaving a comment below i do plan on killing 1000 of all of the new wilderness bosses probably going to be sticking with the lower level ones first and then slowly moving up towards the higher level ones and here we have a guy who i fought multiple times this week i 
I was never able to actually kill him and he was never able to kill me to my knowledge, but I did get a few close calls on him and, you know, that Inferno cape, uh, I wish I had one myself, but I also wish I would have PK'd him for it. So, you know, maybe next time though, uh, running into the same names, that definitely will happen to you if you stay here long enough. There's just so many people here always PKing and always just killing the boss himself that I really don't see this dying down anytime soon. Uh, no matter what time of day it was, there was definitely always a PKer here. So if you ever want to get back into the wilderness and try out some anti-PKing such as what you're seeing on screen here, definitely check out Calvarion. Pretty safe place and it's easy to escape PKers if you decide to give up mid-fight or you're just running out of food, etc. I actually have no idea what the other mechanics are with the other bosses, so I guess I'll have to learn that when I try them out here pretty soon. But for me, I'd say Calvarion's probably my favorite and I don't see that changing unless, uh, you know, the mechanics are looking really nice and really smooth with anti-PKing on the next bosses. All right, 650 kills into the video and here we are with yet again another pretty decent risk PKer. They are wearing an Amulet of Glory and a Bando's Dehyde top, but other than this, they have a Toxic Staff and full Arums, as well as an Armadale God Sword. So let's hope they don't pray magic and I'll take care of business real quick. Here we go. That is what I'm talking about. That, that's definitely going to be a good PK. Guaranteed Toxic Staff of the Dead. 20.2 million GP definitely think I'm making more money from the PKers versus the boss at this point. 650kc as I mentioned before and still only two rare drops from the boss but getting all sorts of good PKs from the people that are attacking me and to this point I really hadn't died too much in the whole entire 1000 kills I think I only died four times and my risk each time was just about a mil maybe a little bit more so overall like four to five mil lost on deaths in this video. I don't know if I included all my deaths in this video I think I probably put half of them but the other part of them you can just kind of see by the KDR at the top left. But there's a nice little dragon pickaxe, uh, KC 679, another 3.4 mil coming in. That is the second one of the video. Did have somewhat of a close call with this Max uh, PKer outside of the Furox Enclave, but I didn't kill him, of course. Uh, it would have been nice if I did, though. But yeah, here, here we go with a different uh, setup for my look here. Got a Bando's Dehyde top on. Pretty sure that's the one that I just PK'd from that Major uh, about an hour ago at this point in the video. So yeah, I just figured I'd wear that and currently at 700 kill count with 300 left to go and yet again here we have another uh, mystic pker this time uh, most of the people that i ran into were in arums or above but yeah that guy had mystic and unfortunately i wasn't able to spec high enough to get the kill but it was a close call over 700 kills in the video so far and what do we receive here kill count 712 another ring of the gods definitely appreciate it i mean no doubt it will help out the price check but where is my skull of Vedion, where's my Void Waker Blade? That's what you really want to see here. 43 mil for that Void Waker Blade. Skull of Vedion, like I mentioned at the beginning, is only 2 mil, but it would still be nice to get for the collection log purposes, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see if we get any luck with the remaining 300 kills. Back of the Furox again, just for a quick little break outside of a Last Man Standing game, and I did get a Ballista PK, so that was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but about 100 kills ago, I did receive a Curved Bone, which is rarer than the pet here and all the other exclusive rare items on the drop tables. So yeah, might have killed all my RNG with that, but it is a curve bone after all. Shortly after returning from the Furox, I did receive a Dragon Two-Hander, which is only at 132k, but it's still nice to receive from the boss. Another drop on the log completed. And here we have another, uh, I'd say, Welfare PK or not much of a risk from this guy, but the Karasi, or I mean the Void Waker, did take him down with a special attack of 57, resulting in about 350k loot. I would say I definitely ran into more PKers towards the second half of the video compared to the start and uh, for example this guy here was not only smited uh, for multiple hits but he managed to tank every single hit that I did on him. I can't remember what his plus one was but it was either AGS or uh, Karasi so yeah, yeah it really is painful but it is what it is. I think I rematched him and the same thing happened only this time he teleported away and I did not smite him. Here we are 800 kills into the video and if you're curious of the power of the sword that I'm using in this video, make sure to check out this video that I'm showing on screen here. When this was originally released in the other RuneScape, people were known to spec transfer and make this sword unlimited special attack version, which means that the person using it could continuously use the special attack on anyone in the wilderness, resulting in almost a 100% kill rate on anyone. So the link to that video will be in the description. Shout out to Bond Block for producing it over 1 million views. 
And there you just saw the power of it in 2023, resulting in a 40 mil PK. We got an Accursed Scepter, an Armadillo God Sword, full Arams, full Carols. I mean, that was the biggest PK that I'd ever think I would get with this sword. So yeah, it just goes to show all these years later, it is just as effective as ever. Look at the risk on this guy. Such a close call. Too bad he prayed magic there. That would have been a huge PK. And he even complimented and said, well played. Well, thank you. I was so upset at this point in time, like my heart went from beating a million miles a second to almost nothing and then I literally actually died in game from him so good fight it was well worth the risk I mean you always have to remember if you're only risking like a mill or two here you might as well always pretty much risk your HP or be willing to die for the kill that you're going for because remember I can die 30 times and it only takes one time to make back all that money and odds are you're probably not going to die 30 times before you kill someone all right this next one is a little interesting ladies and gentlemen so here we have a mystic major this time we're way outside of the cave, uh, but I am full TB'd, so let's bring out that Karasi, and the only thing you gotta remember is to have that smite on with it when you're using it, and there you go, we have officially smited them down, and I knew that I was getting a Toxic Staff, I didn't know I was getting the Armadillo God Sword to go with it, though, 24.4 million GP, yet again, adding an incredible amount to the bank tab, and I cannot wait to do this price check, I mean, I was anti-PKing at Revenants for two to three years straight, and I never, ever ever got kills like this. It would be one in a million. Reason being is because I was using DH and, you know, risking one HP all the time. And that's, you know, people always ask me, Mr. No Sleep, where's your GP? Well, it's all lost in the rev caves, ladies and gentlemen. I was risking seven mil at a time to get a huge PK. And most of the time I had to die 10 times in order to get one good little 30 mil PK. So I'd always be down in profit. But here in this video, you are seeing the complete opposite of that. You're seeing me risk a little bit over a mil. And yet I'm getting these PKs that are worth 30 to 40 times that which really just goes to show, and, and I'm not a great PKer by any means. I mean, I've died 2,000 times in the wilderness so far just on this account. So just let this be a lesson to you guys that you can pull this off too. And uh, as I'm saying that, we are destroying this voider. Let's see if we can get him down. Hit him with a 57 with a special attack followed by the 58, and he was praying range the whole time. My smite stayed up, and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, 21.6 mil to the bank tab. Now here we have Malfoy, and I knew he was a streamer. I just couldn't remember who he was because he changed his username but this is actually coxie over on twitch and uh, i just know him for doing a lot of pet hunting and having a pretty good account uh similar xp as me and we had a long fight uh it did go the distance he chanced me multiple times and i think i chanced him maybe once if i'm even being generous to myself i think he prayed magic in time there but had he not i would have gotten a massive pk and overall i lasted the whole tele block with pretty uh basic gear so i'm proud of that and speaking of live streamers and youtube I do want to give a huge shout out to a guy named Rise. I hope that's how you pronounce his name. It's R-H-Y-S. The link to his channel will be in the description below. And this guy has some of the most incredible PKing videos that I've ever seen. I found his channel about a month ago and I binge watched all of his videos in one or two days. And this made me buy the Void Waker right away. I mean, I got to be honest, just a huge fan of him. And if you guys want to check out some quality content, make sure to check him out in the description below. I do hope to one day run into him in the wilderness and fight him. Uh, but I've yet to do that. So hopefully in the next couple of boss videos, we run into him. That'd be awesome to fight uh, one of my favorite YouTubers. I probably wouldn't do too well in that fight, seeing as uh, here I died to a guy with a dragon dagger. But to my defense, uh, Calvarion is the one that did the final blow to me. And uh, he kind of escaped and just kind of picked up my loot key and ran. So yeah, you know, you, you, know, you, you just die by the most random things sometimes. But that's what the wilderness is all about. Uh, here we are back in the cave. 935 kill count. Almost done with a 1,000. We got to get to 1,008, don't forget. Did get a decent little 1 mil PK off of that guy with the AGS. Um, yeah, it's weird seeing people use Armadillo Godsword now that the Void Waker is in the game, but you always got to be on the lookout for that too because that thing is no uh, stranger to hitting 60s and 70s. All right, here we are outside the cave in the middle of a fight. This guy's praying range, so we're going to really hope that it doesn't switch to magic and it's 62 to a 61 combination on this guy Devour. And I was very surprised, probably not as surprised as he was, but there you guys go, 20. 9 mil loot and that was yesterday night i had actually just logged in about six hours ago to finish this video and i ran into him yet again the odds of that i know but i figured well we killed him the first time and his name did seem familiar but i wasn't 100 percent sure that i killed him at, at this very moment but now that i'm editing obviously you can see that yep this is the same guy two days in a row the special attack did not do so well this time but the normal hit did pretty good and it did finish him off this time ladies and gentlemen 34 mil pk 
from the same guy back to back and a whole nother day went by so that is just absolutely insane adding a dragon fire shield and a carol skirt to the bank tab and might i say five toxic stabs and multiple army though god swords multiple smites during this video i mean this was just truly incredible moving on though getting very close to the 1000 kill mark i did run into this uh max caper which was the first max caper of all uh in this video so far and luckily he teleported otherwise he definitely would have died by that second spec could have been a well over 30 to 50 mil pk but i guess i'll never know so you know you're always gonna have close calls but never let that demotivate you because odds are you'll get them next time following this we did receive another dragon pickaxe drop but uh, we are so close to finishing and i've not seen the skull i've not seen the void waker drop or anything like it so i'm kind of upset that i didn't really get so lucky here but i mean i did get two ring of the gods and multiple dragon pickaxes so that will definitely assist the price check i just really wish i would have received a void waker drop because that is you know like i said over 40 to 50 mil at times and that would almost double the price check so yeah but no luck this time around we are on our final kill here so might as well unleash the special attack from my ursine chain mace it is the upgraded version of the vigorous chain mace certainly not necessary here but i did have the gp to buy and spend on it so why not and here we are ladies and gentlemen 21 minutes later and about one week of gameplay all in one video i hope you guys enjoyed it loot from 1000 calvarion has been completed i will go ahead on record and say this is officially my new favorite 1000 video that i've ever made out of the 160 that i've uploaded so far in the last couple of years the overall price check comes out to be just shy of 61 million gp most of that coming from the ring of the gods the dragon pickaxes all of the runes the logs the fungus as well as the planks the seeds the gp 24 ancient staffs i mean the list goes on and on but now ladies and gentlemen it's time to price check all of the items that i pk'd during this grind i never kept track of anything i never price checked early i will be as a surprise as you guys when we see this number 174 million gp just from the pks in this video not only did i make 61 mil from the boss but i made another 173 from the people that were trying to kill me while i was killing the boss of course we do have a second price check of 3.6 mil and if you're as bad as me at math then 3.6 plus 174 clearly equals 180 you know not even close but yeah anyway uh, overall pk 180 mil i was wrong when i said three deaths i think it was more like four or five but we only probably lost like five mil on the deaths overall profit from calvarion plus the pks comes out to 241 mil take out the cost of deaths and supplies you're probably looking at about 235 mil here we go with the rune light loot tab showing you guys that i did clearly kill exactly 1000 calvarion and uh no doubt about it probably the best fun i've had in quite some time on runescape so what are you guys waiting for take a risk take a gamble invest a little bit of money in that uh, void waker you won't regret it just please don't get smited for it because then you'll come back here yell at me i just can't handle that but no that is it for now guys um thank you so much for your time today thank you to all of the channel members we did get some new ones uh pronounced we pestilence jp commando bubba chubba rubes swan positive straight out the shop fogolin lk catwolf deku scrub altar boy seth ryan matthew stivers reign of fear solix seven and gilchrist runescape thank you all for the extra support and thank you all for watching the video today. I really look forward to the next one. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.